college and high school baseball season starts here in Louisiana. Fans have a lot of reasons to be excited. Several universities could eventually end up in the College World Series, and the prep ranks are loaded with talent. Sports anchor Fletcher Mackle introduces us to one of those talented young stars, a player who's truly overcome the odds and is now receiving national recognition. Meet Timmy Ruffino. On a quiet stretch of road in rural Covington, you'll find Mike Romano's professional baseball instruction. It's a place where the sounds of the game echo through the woods, what seems like 24 hours a day. They said four, four, four! The complex is truly a field of dreams, built by one of the most accomplished ball players from the greater New Orleans area. $100 for a three inning save. I played 16 years professionally, happened to get to the big leagues in 99 with the Blue Jays and played, like you said, all over the world. But I mean, I love the game, and I mean, it's just a, it's a blessing for me to just be able to give back to these kids. And we have two, four, six, eight, nine. I mean, what I've learned from all the coaches and professional coaches I've had over time. One of Romano's prized players is Timmy Rafino. A left-handed pitcher who's currently a freshman at Archbishop Hannon High School. He's a big, strong kid, and he's a left-hander. So I mean, left-handers are commodities. I mean, and he, he has a future on the mound. You just got to stay down through that zone. In fact, Timmy is so good that last summer he was invited to try out for the U.S. Under-16 national team. I picked up a ball at two, and whenever I could first, you know, start walking. And probably when I was like four or five, I started, you know, falling in love with the game. But when Timmy started playing baseball 10 years ago, he was told he couldn't be in competitive leagues, that he'd have to play in a baseball league designed for children with special needs. You see, Timmy Rafino was born with an extremely underdeveloped right hand. My husband and I decided we can let him be a, just be a kid, be a boy, and just be his backbone to help him get through adversity or obstacles. So the Rafinos decided, no special league for Timmy. Even with one hand, he was going to play the game he loved. And the Rafinos knew this was possible, because after doing some research, they discovered Jim Abbott. Like Timmy, Abbott was born with only a left hand. But he went on to become a college All-American, an Olympian, and he threw a no-hitter for the New York Yankees in 1993. He did it! He did it! My husband um, showed me Jim Abbott's card, and so we got a book, a kid's book, that had Jim Abbott and different levels of Jim Abbott's life and showed it to Timmy, and it kind of just snowballed from there into sports. That snowball is now an avalanche of awesome, so to say. Timmy eats, sleeps, and breathes baseball. Good pitch. One of his biggest motivations, his adversity. It makes me work harder every day than, than somebody who has two hands that's, you know, not working that day. It just it makes me go out there and want to, you know, go work to get ahead of them so I can, just because I have one hand doesn't mean I can't work. Hard work has made Timmy a complete ball player. Even with one hand, he's also an accomplished hitter. The company Mizuno even makes custom batting gloves for his right hand. I'm always in the cage, six to seven days a week, in the cage, just practicing on my swing, practicing. So nobody beats, nobody throws a fastball by me. But Timmy knows as he gets older, hitting better pitching, in essence one-handed, will become more difficult. So his future is on the mound, and his future is very bright. I think he's going to make it at the next level, being a collegiate level, as a pitcher if he keeps working hard. Which he will because Timmy's a smart young man who realizes advancing in baseball makes him a role model and he embraces that. I feel like that I can I can touch kids to say they can do whatever they want to do as long as they put their mind to it and it just because they have a disability doesn't mean they can't you know play sports. And Timmy Rafino takes giving back very seriously. He's part of a group that donates its time to the Miracle League. Back to you. Wow I've only seen in my lifetime, Jim Abbott's the only right. person I've seen who can do that, and now he does it the same effortless, effortless way that Jim Abbott did. But it's cool that what Jim Abbott was to him, who knows what he is to right. some other kids out there. That's exactly. amazing. Exactly. An amazing young man. I like it.